Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. On the media line is Lisa Hopper, Mid-In Town Manager. Our program is sponsored by the Riverside Collection, First Bank, Airport Drive-In Restaurant, Nadine Cobb, Accounting and Tax. Hey, how are you, Lisa? I'm great. I hope you are. I'm doing well. Yeah, well, Good. just saw you last night. Uh, I know. At, at I the like meeting. A... <laughs> yeah, this this nor- this sometimes doesn't happen this close. Uh, no, the meeting and the next a week the... in between. <laughs> I know it. Yeah. Well, you want to give us just maybe uh, an overview of last night? Some things that happened. I sure will. Um, the uh, council approved a uh, economic develop incentive package with Rug- Sturm Ruger and Company. Um, they are investing ten million dollars in additional equipment and building uh, upfit, um, and creating sixty new jobs. And uh, this is a five-year incentive package. Um, if they hit all of their goals, um, then, you know, they will be uh, reimbursed uh, uh, some uh, funding each year for five years. Uh, if they don't hit the goals, um, they still may, may be eligible for a percentage of the yearly amount. Um, it just depends on, you know, which um, employment or investment goals, you know, that they've met. Um, at we feel confident that they will hit the goals they have uh, in the past when we've had an economic in, uh, incentive package with them, and so we feel certain that they will continue to hit those goals. And um, we are so gr- you know, grateful that, uh, for them being here and providing jobs for our local market, and um, they are expanding by adding a new line, and so we're excited for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let, let me just get a, uh, a little background information. A- am I correct in saying the new line they're adding is the one they acquired from Remington? Is that correct? That is what we understand. Okay. All right. That's what I'd heard. That's what I'd, we understand. Yeah. Okay. That's what we understand, that they did acquire a line, um, a manufacturing line from um, Remington, and so they are adding it here in uh, Mayadan. They could have added that line at one of their other uh, manufacturing plants across the United States, but they did decide to do it here in Mayadan, so we're very excited about that. Oh, yeah, keeping it right here. I think there were maybe seven companies nationwide that ended up getting uh, those different pieces right. of that of the Remington. Right. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. okay, so that's good and news. Then, yeah, and then um, we have a construction company, Cold Creek Construction, that has purchased a lot on Highway 135 near the um, North Point Assisted Living, and um, they ask for, they want to be able to tap on to the water and sewer for the town of Mayadan, and in that process, they do have to ask for satellite annexation to be able to tap onto our services. They did petition the town um, for satellite annexation, and the council approved that last night. It will be effective December 31st of this year, and so that piece of property will become. Um, a part of the town of Mayadan for their utilities, uh, police protection, fire protection. Um, and he does have plans to develop it, and we hope that all that comes to uh, to fruition. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is an added tax base for the town of Mayadan. And so that was the first step in his project, and so we hope that, you know, in the new year he will – uh, be able to move forward with his project. Sure, yeah, wish them much success. That, yes. that, that's a process there, too. You just can't, it really is. <laughs> you can't snap your fingers and, bam, something like that happens. It's a no, lot, all kinds of stuff to go it through. It does take several months, and you have to go through several different boards. I mean, uh, he will have to go through the Planning and Zoning Board for um, ask for rezoning, and um, then he will come back to the council for rezoning and for a conditional use permit. And then, of course, all the county um, agencies he'll have to go through as far as his building and inspections and uh, things like that. So it is a process, and I just I wish him um, luck on that, and and, uh, and it will be great for Mayadan if, if it all comes to fruition because it is added tax base and, um, and, and some much-needed housing, I think, also. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. All right, so two big things came out of that yeah. meeting last night. A couple of other items as well? Uh, the uh, town had applied to USDA for a grant for a piece of equipment, and we were eligible for the grant funds, and so I just reported to the council that that grant was denied and that they do have the option of um, trying to fit that equipment in six budget year or um, you, you, know, you could possibly take out a loan for the equipment. Um, the town has very low, low debt, and so that's always an option if we wanted to go that route. But I think that uh, in their discussion last night, they would like to try to work through that process in the budget for 2021. 
2021 to 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so we'll just see, kind of see how that goes when we start our budget process um, right after the first of the year. Okay. Um, it, it just may be something that they'll need to wait on until I first and in, into the next budget. Yeah. So the good thing is there that the town is strong and, and they, they wouldn't let you have the money. Uh, but, you know, other, other right. municipalities, uh, you know, not as in as good a position as you are. And so they exactly. get a grant or whatever. But uh, and it, as bad as people here hate to hear it, our water rates are, you know, one of the lowest in the entire state. Mm-hmm. And they always look at that and they say, well, if you need equipment for water and sewer um, projects, um, you need to raise your rates. Because, you know, there are other places that have, you know, astronomical rates, um, but the cost of doing their water sewers is so high, they're they're just not, they still are not in a good financial position to be able to afford some equipment and things that they need. And so they do um, qualify for some grant funds. And and Maidan is kind of opposite that. We, um, We have very, very, very low rates. And so they tell us if we need to raise money for some equipment, we should raise our rates. And you know, and our council is doing best to try to keep our rates as low as they can be um, while still providing the service and buying the equipment and all that we need. So we just work through that in the budget and try to see how all that goes. Yeah, kind of, kind of a rock and a hard place there. It is. <laughs> really. It is. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Well, I know you'll and, figure uh, that out. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and uh, also just reported that the, the uh, lease crew is still um, – gathering up loose leaves um they are on their second pass i think that they have finished uh, the, all the avenues on the second pass and now they've started on the streets i think they're uh, right now currently on crest and mark street and then they will start um and come down through uh the streets uh to finish their third pass I mean, their second pass excuse me their second pass now we are expecting some bad weather tomorrow <clears throat> we don't know how much and how long that will linger that always prevents us from uh, doing loose leaf collection when there's snow or ice on top of the leaves. So if they don't see the leaf truck out in the next couple of days uh, due to the weather, they will still, you know, continue to pick up leaves and try to get through their route, the second, the full second route. And then in January, they'll work on the third pass through town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Weather always comes into play, doesn't it? It does. In the winter, you just never know, and it can delay them some, but they generally uh, work it out in the end and get through everybody, um, three full passes. Yeah, okay. All right, well, thank you for uh, kind of an overview of last night's town board meeting. Um, that was that was a good meeting. It was. It was, an, it was a good meeting. Um, we did receive uh, the end of our audit. Now, uh, in January, the auditors will come and present their audit findings to the council. Um, they did tell us that we had a very good audit. Um, so we're expecting a good report when they do report that in January to the council. Yeah. You just said very good. The word you used last night was excellent. Well, mm-hmm. it is. I mean, yeah. it was really good. <laughs> I mean, uh, the auditors were, had some very, very complimentary remarks and said that the town was in a very good position. And, and so, I mean, I feel really good about it. I hope our council does. Too. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to stay with excellent. I think that, okay. sounds, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. All right. Uh, and I know really that that speaks well of uh, the management of the town. And and you at the helm and, and everyone there well, and everyone well, doing a good you, job. I, I'm telling you, our department heads run very good departments. Mm-hmm. They watch their expenses very closely, um, and you know they just do an outstanding job. Uh, we do our best to um, get as you know all the services done that that we're required to do, and and we try our best to make sure our equipment is kept up to date the best we can. And, um, and you know we just we do, we do not have a lot of debt and. Um, you know, we're well below the debt limit for the state of North Carolina. Our fund balance uh, for the general fund is in a great shape. Um, we're above the state percentage. And so, you know, if we can put some money back into that rainy day fund, that fund balance each year, then we feel like we've been a, a huge success. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. All right. Wait, anything and, else? Uh, just want to mention that <clears throat> anyone who has a Friday garbage collection, of course, next Friday, the 25th, is Christmas Day. So if you have a Friday garbage collection, your garbage will be collected on Thursday the 24th and Thursday the 31st mm-hmm. because, the, of course, the um, collection agents is off on Christmas Day and New Year's Day. And those both fall on a Friday. Mm-hmm. So just be uh, sure to put your cans out on Wednesday night 
so that they can be collected on Thursday the 24th and Thursday the 31st. Mm -hmm. I will put that schedule on Facebook and on the website. And uh, if you if you hear this and uh, you have a neighbor uh, that you don't think has has Facebook or uh, the ability to go online and look at the um, website and hasn't heard this radio broadcast, please let your neighbors know that it, that garbage will be one day ahead of your normal Friday collection for the next two weeks. Mm. Okay. Yep, everything's running behind schedule now, but we're ahead of, we're headed down <laughs> on trash pickup. Okay, that's good. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, we just, um, over at Town Hall, hope that everyone has a very safe and uh, happy holiday season. Um, we hope that you're able to enjoy your family and, and some of your friends, and, and we understand with this pandemic and this virus that it's not going to be our typical holiday season, um, but we, we just hope that people are safe and that they do have that opportunity to have uh, some quality time with, with their family mm-hmm. yeah. and enjoy the holidays as best as possible under all these conditions that we're living under. Sure, yeah, just... Uh... Stop and count our blessings. We still right. have a lot to be thankful for. That's right. for sure. Crazy year. Uh, I'm, I'm really behind on my shopping because I'm not going out in the stores. Um, I'm doing a lot of online shopping, and I'm behind. And, and that's, that always has put me in the mood, you know, for the holidays, getting my shopping done, getting my wrapping done. And, and, and it is kind of sad the way that, that some of the restrictions are keeping us from doing what we normally do. But to remember to wear a mask. Um, stay six feet apart, wash your hands repeatedly, mm-hmm. um, and, you know, try to follow the governor's executive orders as best you can. Um, I know that the restaurants are limited to the number of people they can serve, and, and uh, we just ask that everybody uh, try to keep their fellow neighbor, family member, and everyone in mind during this time with, with, the, with the restrictions that we're under. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. All righty. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you out a little bit here in that shopping. Don't have to buy anything from me this year. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> well, when we're able to uh, congregate and uh, eat out, I'll buy, you, I'll buy you a lunch one day. How about that? We'll, we'll do lunch in the new year eventually. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Lisa, always a pleasure to talk to you. All the best well, to you, you. And, and your family and to, to town thank staff. You. Well, we appreciate you so much for uh, keeping uh, citizens and everyone up to date on what's going on in Mayadan. We, we uh, rely on that heavily, and so we appreciate it very much. Well, give everyone our best, and we'll talk to you in the okay. new year. All right. Merry Christmas. You too. Merry Christmas. Mm-hmm. That's Lisa Hopper, Mayadan Town Manager. I want to take just a moment here before we finish to say, on behalf of Nadine Cobb, Accounting and Tax, the Riverside Collection, First Bank, and Airport Drive-In. All of these businesses want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Let me remind you uh, a couple of places to get more information on the town, townofmayadan.com, and then on Facebook, the town of Mayadan. All the best in, uh, in the holiday season and in the new year.